The House by the Side of the Road by Sam Walter Foss. He was a friend to man, and he lived in a house by the side of the road. However, there are hermit souls that live with the drawn in the place of their self-content. There are souls like stars that dwell apart in a thelolous firmament. There are pioneer souls that blaze their path where highways never ran. But let me live by the side of the road and be a friend to man. Let me live in a house by the side of the road where the race of men go by. The men who were good and the men who were bad, as good and as bad as I. I would not sit in the scorner's seat or hurl the cynic's ban. Let me live in a house by the side of the road and be a friend to man. I see from my house by the side of the road, by the side of the highway of life, the men who press with the ardor of hope, the men who are faint with the strife. But I turn not away from their smiles nor their tears, both parts of an infinite plan. Let me live in a house by the side of the road and be a friend to man. I know there are brook gladdened meadows ahead and mountains of wearisome height, that the road passes on through the long afternoon and stretches away to the night. But still I rejoice when the travelers rejoice and weep with the strangers that moan. Nor live in my house by the side of the road like a man who dwells alone. Let me live in my house by the side of the road. It's here the race of men go by. They are good, they are bad, they are weak, they are strong, wise, foolish, so am I. Then, why should I sit in the scorner's seat or hurl the cynic's ban? Let me live in my house by the side of the road and be a friend to man. And one thing that we should probably do, right, is, yes, don't exactly live in a state of discomfort, seeking discomfort. But self-content doesn't mean that you can't be striving for um, involvement or change or whatever. And some of that should be, you know, the changing of yourself away from the foolishness and all that.